Welcome to Wright Commercial Products, where we bring you the information you need to make the best equipment decisions. One of the things to realize right now is that there's a lot of great engines on the market, and you can't afford to simply be a one brand option. Each engine manufacturer has engines that really stand above in different categories. And this 810 Vanguard seems to really stand out on a 52 and 61 inch machine. Now, it produces a ton of power, and that's great. And when you make an engine choice, typically you do want to overpower the mower you're buying a little bit. But really what we're looking for is that the engine has enough cooling and durability to continuously output the amount of power that the machine needs, regardless of the peak engine output. And that's where this engine really shines. It has a lot of durability. It runs really well in that category. So here's the Vanguard engine with the EFI system on it. The EFI system is a Delphi type system, and it's a real good system. Actually, we currently don't offer this on our mowers. Today, we're going to tear down this carbureted engine. This engine is a test engine, so it's got some hours on it. So we tore down the engine, and we have a lot of good commercial parts here. Let's walk through these parts and show you what this engine is built of. So first off, we have a very large top cover. This top cover is going to prevent the engine from getting suffocated very easily, something we like on a commercial engine. The screen here, this thing's a chopper, so any debris that makes it through there is going to get chopped by this, this edge, sharp edge on here, and then it's very open, so it'll let a lot, a lot of air pass through. The cylinder heads, very open design, so any debris that gets down there will easily flow right through the engine. And if anything does get stuck, when you go to do your maintenance intervals, we have clean outs here that are very easy to open and get to so you can see what's going on there and clean them out. Also we have a canister air cleaner. This canister air cleaner is going to prevent any dust or grit from getting to your cylinder, to your oil. That would really shorten the life of the engine, so a really good filter is important, something that you want on an engine that's being used every day in dusty and gritty conditions. We also have the oil cooler. So the oil cooler is going to cool the oil so the viscosity gets right to where it needs to be before it's delivered to all those um, moving parts inside the engine. On the electrical side, we had the shift starter. The shift starter is going to be very consistent, very durable. We have a 20 amp regulator, which is good. Also, the whole harness is covered in loom material, which is for an engine that's going to put a lot. Of, you're going to put a lot of engine hours on. It's going to be resistant to chafing or breaking down or uh, getting broken underneath the cover. On the the governor side of the engine, we really couldn't see this, but the governor on this engine is a low droop governor. That means that under peak load, you'll be able to get more of your rated horsepower, and that's really good when, say, you're dealing with spring growth where it's heavy. On the sealing end of this engine, we have Viton seals here. Those Viton seals will withstand higher temperatures and have better resistance to ethanol. They cost more, but in this case, we like more. Also, the sump here is an RTV type seal. It's a little more complex to put in, but this will really last a long time, prevents any weeping, really good quality joint. The valve cover is a cast valve cover. So when you go to do your valve adjustment, when you go to put this back on, you're gonna have a very consistent joint, um, and that's also really good. In the combustion chamber, we have through hardened valve seats, which is really something that's important for an engine that's gonna run propane with a higher combustion uh, exhaust temperature there, but on a gas engine, it's good to have that. It's going to just be that much better. We also have a fire ring head gasket on this engine, so right near the combustion chamber, there's a steel ring. That ring is going to better resist any blowout when the engine's on running under peak torque. And peak torque is when you have your peak pressures. We also have um, these plasma-coated uh, piston rings, and that will add durability to the engine. That's something you would only see in a piece of equipment that's built for um, a lot of hours, a lot of work. On the mechanical end of this engine, where the moving parts are, we have um, a flywheel that's dynamically validated. We have a crankshaft that's balanced on two planes, and the crankshaft itself has been forged. It's not that common, but when you forge a crankshaft, you get a stiffer crankshaft, a stronger crankshaft, and that's all going to help with vibration and the mass. We also have a connecting rod that's forged rather than cast, and with a forged connecting rod, you're going to have a very, very consistent weight there, and the engine will be better balanced. Between those different factors there, you're going to have an engine that runs really quietly, really smoothly, and that also helps with the life of the engine. <clears throat> also, we have um, bearing inserts on both the top and the bottom of the engine. This isn't always the case. It's really good to have. We also have a long bearing surface 
and um, this is good for a, a commercial lawnmower. We have a lot of uh, belt tension to your blade drive. This is something that's um, going to be an engine that's really built for high hours. Also, the engine is very stiff compared to engines, other engines out there like this. You can see these ribs are really strong and heavy. And in here, there's also a lot of ribbing, ribbing and bracing. When the engine's stiff, it causes all the parts that are moving and wearing against each other to be aligned more um, accurately. It's going to add life to your engine and durability. Now we've seen some of the parts that are inside the Briggs 810 Vanguard engine. I hope you can see what this engine is built for, and this will help you make the best decisions you need to make for your business. Thanks for watching.